why does the following statement make sense? You can't see your ears and eyes unless you look in the mirror because sound is black because you can feel vibrations. If your right eye dominant, an alligator ate your sock. If your left eye dominant, a crocodile ate your sock. The difference between alligators and crocodiles are that an alligator has a pocket for its tooth. A crocodile does not. Your left eyeball is closer to your heart than your right eyeball. If you're going to meditate and use a certain foot to put on your inner thigh, putting your right foot on your left inner thigh is going to make the alligator eat your sock. And putting your left foot on your right inner thigh is going to make the crocodile eat your sock. Because this tooth is not able to be put into a pocket on the right eye dominant side, I have to eat the white stuff. I have to constantly remind myself the alligator eats my sock so I don't slip off past the white into a yellow mushroom hallucinogenic mushy land mushy room world but if you're left eye dominant you can tell your heart to eat that white tooth or get rid of that white feeling get rid of that anxiety because anxiety is white it's caused from lack of blood circulation in your hands which makes your hands feel more white and you may or may not know that they feel that way at the time unless you're having an actual panic attack which is why fans sometimes help calm that down or certain other measures so I can tuck my whiteness inside my heart and the red will cover it up hence why my nine-year-old boy said red is white my daughter taught me you, you can't see your eyes unless you look in the mirror. She said clouds look like cotton balls. She said the milk or the the sunset looks like strawberry milk sometimes. And my son also said don't sit in the dark, Mr. Crocodile. He said don't sleep when the sun's up. He said I wasn't his son. Or he wasn't my son. And uh, I don't know why any of this makes sense. Like, I just explained this shit to you. This shit's stupid. Like, that's not what I worry about. Like, am I getting paid to talk like that? No. Do I give a fuck? No. Has it ruined my life? Yes. Am I going to be a loser, white, trash, fucking piece of shit person the rest of my life? Probably. So what I get out of it? Nothing. I just lost my children's emotional connection for the rest of their lives, most likely. Because there's always going to be that empty feeling and empty space of time where I could not psychologically raise them the way I was taught or that I wanted to teach them. You either turn out like your mother's personality or your father's personality or you end up like your mother's sense of work or your father's sense of work. I have my father's sense of work and I have my mother's sense of personality. Meaning that my mother's personality is, I don't give a fuck. Like, what do you want me to do about it? My dad's personality is, you got to wake up, go to work. Or no, you got to wake up, deal with the day. Or wake up, deal with life, go to sleep. So, because I wasn't able to show them what their brain was genetically purposed into trying to learn between me and their mother, they have an outsider trying to cognitively think, teach them how he would behave or think and I'm not saying he's not a bad guy but the point is they're not genetically his and that's going to cause problems in a divorce and it always does I didn't learn how my dad actually was until I was an adult and it caused a lot of psychological problems in my life that's why divorce is never good there should be rules against marriage it should be illegal to have marriage before kids it should be illegal to get divorced you should have to have a psychological exam before you have to get married. That's in-depth psychological exam to see if you can last till death do your part. You should have to have a psychological financial exam to find out if you can financially take care of the amount of children that you want. 
and any children you have out of wedlock or without a proper approval financially, you should be fined something. I don't know. Take money off your taxes every year until a certain amount is paid off or something. I don't know. Serve jail on the weekends every month or something. I don't know. There needs to be stricter rules on this shit. Like, if you were able to teach your kids these things and teach your kids uh, all those things to teach your kids how to actually relate to the opposite sex like my job as a dad is to teach my daughter how to relate to men i can't teach my son how to relate to women because i'm not a woman so that's their mother's job this whole thing on developmental psychology it's best for the kid when the parents are involved together and this is how problems arise this is how drug addicts get get that's how people turn into drug addicts and criminals and suicidal tendencies and uh, homicidal tendencies and this is how people turn into doing negative things and feeling negative ways is because both parents aren't there fully engulfed in how to actually raise their kids according to a developmental psychology standpoint in the academic world this is how people fall behind socioeconomic statuses. And I can't do anything about it because I'm just a piece of shit who deserves to die. And I hope I find out on the 28th that I have a fucking tumor when I get a picture in my brain. Like, thank fucking God. I'm tired of arguing with the psychiatry field about the fact that I'm not schizophrenic. And I will win that case. But I can't prove that I'm going to win knowing that my kids are actually not fucked up in the head in one way or another. But it's my fault. That's what everybody says. It's my fault. It's my fault. I was the alcoholic. It's my fault. Well, maybe if psychiatry wasn't actually feeding me drugs when I needed to actually find out about my physical brain trauma that happened to me at age 2 and at age 7, maybe then I wouldn't have had any of these fucking problems and I would be a totally different person. Maybe if I would have grew up with my dad, I'd have owned my own upholstery business by now because I would have taken over his upholstery business. But maybe then again, the universe doesn't care if I am actually never happy and living in a lighted world.